Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to create automated sales invoice in Zoho Books from email. Here, my objective is that as soon as I'm going to receive a new email on my Gmail account regarding the details of the customer as well as the product he has purchased, automatically first the customer should be searched in Zoho and if that person should be an existing customer of Zoho Books, then automatically an invoice should be generated for that same. But in case if that person will not be an existing customer, then first the customer should be created and then the invoice should be generated. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this we will have to set up a connection between Gmail and Zoho Books and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So here we are going to take email parser in our trigger through which we are going to fetch out the details of the email from Gmail account and then we are going to take Zoho Books in our action and we are going to connect all of them in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen. In this video we are going to learn how to automatically create Zoho Books invoice from email. So here my objective is that as soon as I'm going to receive a new email from my team member, automatically by using that same response an invoice should be generated in Zoho Books. But here we are going to use two conditions. If the customer will be an existing contact of Zoho Books and the second condition will be that if the customer is not an existing contact of Zoho. In both the cases we want to generate the invoice. Okay. Now here we are going to create this automation very easily with the help of this amazing automation software Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect allows us to connect multiple applications without any coding or programming skills in minutes in order to automate our processes. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing the URL pabli.com slash connect. After coming here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. As you can find, I have multiple folders here. I have created them in order to save my workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Create Zoho Books Invoice from Email. After giving the name here, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So I'm going to select this Gmail to Zoho Books Invoice Automation folder. And now let's click on Create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. Trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. Trigger is the very first step of every workflow which commands the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Okay, so we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's start creating the workflow step by step. So first of all, in order to capture the response of emails here in public, connect we are going to use email parser let us select that as our trigger application so it has provided us an email hook with the help of which we are going to capture the response of emails which we are receiving on our gmail account so we will copy the email hook and then i'm going to take you towards my gmail account so this is my gmail account here we need to go towards settings and we have to click on this see all settings button here we need to go towards forwarding and pop imap let's do that and we need to click on this button add a forwarding address now here in this field we need to paste the email hook which we have copied from Pabli connect and we will click on next and now it is asking us forwarding email to this particular email hook let's click on proceed and you will click on ok so we have provided the permission to forward our emails which are receiving on this particular email address towards Pabli Connect on this email hook. Okay, now let's go back and here we can find that we have already received the response. So in this response, we have to scroll down and we have to move towards the body text and it has provided us with a link. If you will see the body text, you will find the link. You need to copy that same link and we will open it in a new tab. Okay, now it is asking please confirm forwarding email of this particular email address to this email hook. Let's click on confirm and done. Now it is saying now you may forward email to this particular email hook. So this means that our confirmation is successful. We will once again go towards our Gmail account. And now I'm going to send an email to this particular Gmail account from another account. Okay, so I'm going to send this test email towards my email address. Okay. And now let's go and check whether the email is received or not. And yes, the email is received. Test email. Hello. Okay. Now we have to do one more thing. We have once again have to go towards settings 
and then we have to click on this see all settings button once again forwarding and pop imap and now we need to select the email hook which we have recently pasted over here and we have to click on this forwarding a copy of incoming mail to this particular email hook okay and now we have to click on save changes so we have made the necessary changes now we will go back towards fabric connect and here we need to click on this recapture email parser response so now when we have done that whenever a new email will be received on our email address automatically the response will be captured over here so what i am going to do now i am going to send an email okay so let's say i am going to compose an email to my email address and here i am going to write the subject as invoice details so let's suppose one of the team member is going to send me every time in a specific format this email which contains the details of the customer as well as the product he has purchased and the amount okay and as soon as we will receive that email automatically the invoice should be generated by using that by using that same detail okay so here the body will be so here are the details customer name email phone number product purchase and the amount let's say the customer name will be demo user the email will be let's say demo user 5480 at the rate pablitudes.com the phone number will be let's say and the product purchase will be let's say led bulb the amount will be let 199 okay done so here are these are the details of the customer as well as the product now i'm going to send this email on my email address and yes we can find that here we have received the response of the email let's let's just scroll down and we can find that here is the same body text hello here are the details of the customer and the items purchased for which the invoice is to be generated customer name email product purchase as well as the amount this means that the connection between gmail account and public connect is perfectly successful so now whenever we are going to receive a new email we are going to receive the response of that same email here on public connect as well but here we need to apply a condition because we know that we are going to receive multiple emails on our gmail account every day and we do not want to create invoice for each and every emails therefore here we are going to use a filter okay so in the action step i'm going to apply filter let's select filter over here in the action application and the action event will be filter values we will click on connect and now here i'm going to set the condition that if the email will be related to invoice then only the workflow should continue otherwise not so what i'm going to do i'm simply going to select the subject of the email over here so we have received this email this is the subject of the email invoice details now i'm selected this as label and i'm going to select the filter type will be contains and here the value will be invoice so my condition is like this that whenever the subject of the email will contain invoice word in it then the workflow should continue otherwise not so i have so i have decided a specific format of sending the emails for my team members so whenever i'm going to receive an email related to the invoice it will contain the subject as invoice details so as the filter will be applied and automatically then the workflow will get continue if the subject will contain invoice otherwise not now let's test this condition we are going to click on the save and send test request button and the condition is true because the email contains the subject as invoice details now now we will move further and after this what we are supposed to do we have received the email body in the combined format that is we have received all the details related to the customer in the same email body in the combined format okay so we will have to parse the text one by one we will have to separate these details one by one from this particular body text for that we are going to apply text formatter by pably so let's click on this add action step button and here i am going to select text formatter by pably which is an amazing feature by pably which allows us to format the text according to the workflow requirements here our action event will be to parse the text text parser we are going to separate the text by using text parser let's click on connect and now it has connected it is asking us three details text to be parsed text match after and the text match before what text you want to parse we want to parse the body of the email which we have received so we will simply map the data over here mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details so we want to map the body of the text which is given over here let us select it and it is mapped we have received all the details related to the customer as well as the product okay so here first of all i want to separate the name of the customer from this text so here we need to enter two details text match after and the text match before now now one more thing because we have mapped this data it has become dynamic so it is going to change with each and every response now whenever we are going to receive a new email on our gmail account automatically a new body text will appear here in place of this particular text without any manual efforts and in this way we are going to automate the entire process okay the next is the text match after so we want the name of the customer demo user and it is given after customer name colon so the text match after will be customer name colon and now we have to enter the text match before the name demo user is given before email so here i am going to enter email colon 
Done. Now let's click on save and send test request button. And here is the response. We have received the name in the separated format. In the same manner, I'm going to apply text formatter for each and every data. And I'm going to parse these details one by one. So once again, I have connected text formatter the next, but, and now we have to, and now here I'm going to map the text once again, that is the body text. Now the next thing I want is the email. Email is given after email. So I'm going to enter email colon over here in the text match after, and it is given before phone. So I'm going to enter phone over here and the colon. Done. Let's click on save and send test request button once again. And here we have received the email in the separated format. In the same manner, I'm going to parse the phone number, product purchase, as well as the amount as well. All right. So I have applied text formatter in all the steps in order to capture all the, in order to fetch out all the details. Now, here our next step is to find the customer in Zoho Books. Okay. So we will add one more action step over here. And now I'm going to search for Zoho Books in the action application and we will select it. So let's select the action event that will be find customer and we will click on connect from the given options. I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with Zoho books account. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. We will click on connect with Zoho books and here we need to provide the domain name in order to find that we have to go towards our Zoho books account and we have to look towards the URL of the account here in the URL. It is given Zoho.com. That means our domain is Zoho.com. Let me paste it done. Let's click on save. And here Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Zoho books account. Let's click on accept as it is 100% safe. And with this, our authorization has become successful. Now, after building the connection, it is asking us the organization name and the search text. So first of all, let me select the organization name that is Pabli Book. So I have two organization over here, Magnet Brains and Pabli Books. So I have selected Pabli Books over here. Okay, done. Now we will move further. The next is the search text. By using what text, that means what details you want to use in order to search your customer. We are going to use the email because it will be the unique one. So here I have already fetched out the email from the text by using text formatter. I'm simply going to map the email over here. Done. And now we are going to click on save and send test request button. As we have done that, we can find that we have received the response. In the response, we have also received the contact ID. Because we have received this contact ID, this means the customer is an existing contact of Zoho Books. Okay, all right. We have received all the details related to the contact. This means that now we have to create an invoice for this particular customer. And for doing that, we will move further. We will click on this add action step button. And because in our workflow, we have two conditions after this particular step here, we are going to apply router. What are those two conditions? We want that if the customer will be an existing contact of Zoho books, then also the invoice should be generated. But if it will not be the existing contact, then first it should be added as a contact and then the invoice should be generated. Okay. Router is an amazing feature by Pabli, which allows us to set routes in our workflow. Okay. With this, we are going to set the conditions here. Our action event will be conditionally run and we will click on connect. As we will do that, it has provided us two routes. We can add more routes if we want, but here we are going to use these two routes only. First of all, I'm going to rename the routes. Uh, the first route will be for the condition if the contact exists in Zoho books. Okay, so I'm going to click on update now. And the second route is for the condition if the contact does not exist. Done. Let's click on update. And now we are going to click on this set filter and action steps in order to set the condition in the first route that is for the existing customers. So router is the very last step of every workflow. We cannot add any other. We cannot add any further step after router. We have to, we have to perform all the steps under router only. So here we need to provide first of all, the filter condition and the filter condition will be that if we are going to receive the customer ID in the response, if the customer ID exists in the response, then the workflow should continue with this route. So let's click on the save and send test request button to check the condition if it is true or not. And yes, the condition is true because we have already received the customer ID, but in case if we will not receive any customer ID, that means the customer is not existing in Zoho books. Therefore, then it will take the does not exist route. Okay. Now, because the condition is true here, we are going to generate the invoice directly. Let's click on this add action step button. And here we are going to once again, select Zoho books in the action application in order to generate the invoice and our action event will be create sales invoice. Okay. Let's click on connect and we, and we will go with the existing connection only as we have already built the connection and the connection is made. So we will move further here. We need to provide the organization name first of all. So let me select the organization family book. And now it is asking the customer. So here we need to provide the customer ID. So what we are going to do because we have already received the customer ID from our earlier response and we want to make it dynamic so that it could change with each and every response. Here we are going to turn this mapping button on 
and I'm going to delete the existing data from here, this field, and I will simply map the customer ID, which we have already received. So this is the customer ID. We have mapped it in this way. We have made this customer ID dynamic. Okay. So let's move further. Now here we have more details, invoice number, reference number, template ID, invoice date, etc. If you want, you can also add the due date for the invoice. But here in my case, I am going to ignore these fields because they are not mandatory. Okay. I'm directly moving towards the required field that is exchange rate. It is mandatory and the default exchange rate will be one. So here I'm going to enter one. Okay. Now the next will be the line item name. That means the product for which we are going to generate the invoice. We have already parsed out the name of the product from text formatter. Let's just map that. This is LED bulb. Okay. Done. If you want, you can also give the description of the product in this line item description here. I'm going to map the rate that is 199 quantity if you want you can also enter the quantity over here and at last i'm simply going to enter save and send test request button and here is the response in the response we have also received the invoice number invoice id as well as the message that the invoice has been created so let's go and check whether this invoice is created in zoho books or not so this is so we will refresh the page this is the invoice section of zoho books and here we can find that yes a new invoice is created for this customer with the company name as abc let me open it and show you and yes this is the invoice the item is given over here as led bulb the quantity is one and the rate is 199 this means that the workflow is successful up till now so we will go back towards public connect and we will move towards our next route so we will click on the set filter and action step for does not exist routes and here once again we are going to set the filter condition that will be if in case the customer id or the contact id does not exist in the response then the workflow should continue with the following route okay so let's click on the save and send test request button and the condition is false for now because we have already received the customer id from the earlier response but in case if it not be there then the workflow will continue from this particular routes and the condition will be true then okay but because we are going to test the workflow therefore we have mapped the earlier response here only now in the case when the customer id will not be exist then what we want we want that first of all the contact should be created in zoho books and then the invoice should be generated so here we are going to click on this add action step button and we are going to select zoho books as our action application once again and we are going to create the contact let's click on action step let's select the action event as create contact we will click on connect and now we will go with the existing connection only as we have already built the connection let's click on save and here we are going to first of all select the organization once again the contact type is customer customer subtype is individual here here are the languages given i'm going to select the language code as english and is portal enabled here we have selected false currency i'm going to select Indian rupee because I reside in India here are the payment terms if you want you can also enter the details in these particular fields the next is the contact name which is the required field so we will simply map the contact name by using our previous response we have already formatted the contact name this is the name of the customer demo user company name here I'm going to ignore this field now I'm going to directly map the email this is the email uh, phone number and here we need to do one more thing it is asking is taxable us canada australia and india editions only so here we need to turn this mapping button on leave the field blank okay so we have done this now we are simply going to click on the save and send test request button and the response is here the contact has been added okay done now the contact is added so we are going to generate the invoice for the contact let's click on this add action step button once again and we will once again select zoho books here as the action application the action event will be create sales invoice and we will click on connect we will go with the existing connection only and now here i'm going to select the organization once again and now i'm going to map the customer id from the previous step that means that means the create contact step so this is the contact id i have mapped this done let's move further here i'm going to enter the necessary details that means the exchange rate one the list item name that is led bulb the amount 199 and I'm simply going to enter save and send test request button done so the invoice is created this means that we have completed the workflow okay so here we have applied two conditions if the customer will be existing and if the customer will not be existing if the customer will be an existing contact of Zoho books automatically and directly the invoice will be generated but if the customer will not be existing then first it will be added as a contact and then the invoice will be generated so what I'm going to do we are going to test this workflow once again here I'm going to send one email from another email address on my email ID here I'm once again going to send an email to my email address and the subject once again will be 
invoice details and this time I'm going to enter the details of a customer which is not an existing customer of Zoho Books and we will see that automatically first the customer will be added and automatically the invoice will be generated for that same customer as well. Let's say here I'm going to enter okay so this is the email this time the customer name is new user the email is new user 597 at the rate of here is the phone number and the product is round neck t-shirt with the amount 300 now i'm going to send this email and as soon as we will do that let's go and check on zoho books so we will go towards zoho books and here i'm going to go towards the customer section first of all we will refresh the page once and we can find that a new contact is created over here with the same details, new user, email and the phone number. Now we will go and check on the invoice as well. Let's say invoice. This is the invoice section and a new invoice is created recently on this particular date for that customer new user. Let me open it and show you. And yes, here are all the details. Item is round neck t-shirt. This is the details of the invoice and the amount is 300. This means that the workflow is running perfectly fine. So now whenever we are going to receive a new email on our Gmail account, automatically by using the response, a new invoice will be generated in Zoho Books for both the conditions if the customer will be an existing one or non-existing. Okay, in the same manner by following the same steps, you can very easily create this automation. By using router, you can apply the conditions according to your choice and you will be able to create this automation very easily. You can even use the same workflow which I have created. I will attach the link of this workflow in the description of the video. Up till then, thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.